All right, well, quick little pig update. You know, I had the owner of um, uh, the farm where I bought a few of my pigs. She lives right down the road. I had to come check out to see if that guilt um, is pregnant. She's pretty positive that she's pregnant. So, and not just pregnant, but could happen any day. So we're trying to, trying to get a good area for um, a place to put that guilt. So Billy's over there working on it. We're gonna try to move these pigs. Uh, we're gonna move them both at once and put them in the area together and then try to get the other one out and just keep the mama in there. So I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's see. Come on, pigs. Come on. Come on. It's a little long ways for their little feet. Look at these things. <laughs> they really do follow really well with food. Um, you can tell the mama was starting to get a little bit tired at the end, but. Come on, pigs. Good girls. Come on. Come on. I mean, they're just walking right with me. It's kind of amazing, actually. Come on. This might put that other pig right in labor. That's why I love these pigs. I mean, it's just, they're just so easy to work with. Like I'm gonna, I'm turning more. Oh, Derby, go, Derby, go. Come on. I'm turning more into a pig farmer than anything. Come on. Come on. See, they're starting to turn corners. That's what they're not loving, but. Oh, they're in this area, which I think is going to be okay. I just don't know about these donkeys. They say donkeys can be mean to pigs, but I know. Come on over. Come on. Come on, pigs. Come on. Now somehow we gotta get that one on the right over to the other place. Of course it's starting to rain out, so I really can't film. But we got them separated. Still got her where the donkeys are, which is actually probably fine. We gotta do a load of gravel here. So the, the pig has room to move in and out. Well, what we're doing now is trying to build a little bit of a ramp so the pig can get in and out. But when she's piglet's time, this will be her area. You know, this is where Chad was and Mo, little bullpen area. I have the other one out there. I'm gonna have to get her somehow back to their spot. But probably one more little thing of gravel here and we should be able to get over. I probably end up have to put something here. I don't think she's gonna do that step. But it turned out to be a pretty decent uh, space for um, for mama. Donkeys aren't in love with this, but it is what it is. And it's starting to pour, so that's good. But again, I am absolutely, I, I'm becoming more of a pig farmer than I am anything else. I just think these pigs are so easy to work with. Granted, they love food, but they're just so easy to work with. Trying to wait this rain out just a little bit. Um, try to finish this project. Looks like it's gonna pass. I'm getting the other one back over. She doesn't know there's nothing in there, but I'll take care of her. Come on! It's almost like she just knows though. <sighs> no, don't stop. No reason to stop. Come on. Let's go. You know where we're going. Come on, you get it by now. All right, so we got those pigs moved. Um, again, they just followed you. I mean, they're really, I'm like super impressed with these pigs. Um, something that, I don't know, I'm going to go buy another one right now. Um, she has a gilt that's about two years old. Just had her second litter. Um, I think she had eight pigs. Really good mom. So now I'll have three gilts, two boars, and uh, 
I don't know, I might be into the, the pig game more than I think. But I got attached. The owner is not overly thrilled with this contraption going down the road. I'm not really either, but um, I do have a dog crate so we can double secure her. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna go grab Billy on the way, grab some hay for Chickadee. That's what her name is. That's what, when we got her, her name was Chickadee, so we call it Chickadee. And yeah, let's go. Well, when we got there, um, she had the pig in the driveway just waiting to load her up. Had a little bit of trouble getting her in, but eventually she walked right up. And actually, the ride down the road, it's, like I said, it's only three to five minute ride. Um, went perfect. We put some food down and didn't even know what was going on. So I introduced um, this new sow. Um, I keep calling her a gilt. She's not a gilt. She's had babies before. but um, And they didn't even test each other. Not that we saw. Um, we thought they were going to for a second here, but they ended up fitting in pretty well together. They did get out the next day, and uh, but was able to get them right back in. From hard as fold, a voice within me tells me don't go home. So I run until my feet give out. I jump a little higher to clear the ground. Every shadow of every girl, every time I turn around, I swear it's her. Second guess my every move I hold my breath in case I run in you Well, there you have it. She seems happy. I think this is going to be a cool place for her to have babies. We'll able to secure her so when the time comes, well, we know it's getting close, we'll lock her right into this area and we'll shut that gate in and then they'll be in. I guess still going to add a heat lamp and some other things, but I'm just going to start trying to get in here with her you know, once a day and just uh, getting her a little bit more comfortable with me. Hey, what a busy day. Great past couple of days. We got a lot done. I uh, got the chicken coop built. We're able to get a frost free. I'll show you. Frost free. You know how I'm always complaining about doing the water for the cows. That's going to make things a lot easier. Yeah, so it's been busy, been productive. Um, the pig move was a, a big deal for me, so I'm so glad we got that done. Um, I tried to film as much as I could on it, but unfortunately, um, you know, it was, uh, it started pouring out, so it was really hard to film the whole thing, so, but got a lot done, and, uh, got a new animal on the farm, kind of last minute, but, um, that lady has been super nice and super helpful, and she was down to her last pig, um, and really wanted to move her. So um, I was able to help out, help out there. So now we'll have three gilts, two boars. Um, so once we start cycling in those pigs, um, things should really start to happen. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>